So in this video, I went ahead and sold all of my investments and I made a lot of coins in FC Mobile, as you can probably guess. I'm going to go ahead and talk about how I made all those coins and how you can become a millionaire and how you can pretty much make a lot of coins as well. So make sure to like and subscribe if you are excited for it. So during the year, it has been very, very easy to make a lot of coins. I can't even lie. Just because of these 95 overall exchanges, 96 to 97 overall exchange, as well as 93 to 94 overall exchange, as well as obviously Jairzinho, who lead, and we're gonna get Roberto Carlos very, very soon. Just because we were getting that 95 overall exchange, uh, I actually invested in 93 overall cards, before we even got 96 to 97 overall. And because of that reason, nobody was really focusing on a 95 overall exchange. Most people were focusing on uh, that 96 to 97 overall player exchange. And that's why I was able to get 93 overall cards at a minimum price for 8.7 million coins each. I managed to get a lot of 93 overall cards for 8.7 million coins. And as you can see right there, I sold pretty much all of them for, uh, for more than 14 million coins, 14.2, 14.5, 14.3, right there are 14.2 again 14.4 so i managed to sell all of them for for uh for more than 14 million coins so from each of these cards i made about like uh 5.56 no yeah 5.5 million coins after tax but if you go ahead and actually figure it out you can see i made about 4 million coins um 4 million coins after tax that was before tax but after tax i made minimum amount of 4 million coins from each of these cards. Obviously, I made a little bit more from someone like Del Piero. I made like uh, 4.3 million coins from Del Piero, but from each of these cards, I managed to make 4.3 million coins. And I know I sold 22 of these right now, uh, right there, but I actually bought, I actually had 31 of these cards, right? I had 31 of these cards. I just used nine of them to get uh, or to open that 94 roll exchange in the mini tube pack, Salah, Modric, and uh, Ruben Diaz right there as you can see. So the packs weren't really that great, but if I go ahead and sell those 95 overall cards, I'm still gonna have more than 100 million coins right there. And if I actually didn't open those 95 overall player packs, and if I actually sold those nine uh, nine more of those 93 overall cards, I would have made like 130 million coins more than uh, I have right now, right? I would have made 130 million coins more. So I wish I actually sold those cards and didn't uh, didn't put them into the exchange, but I had to do it for the video, right? Most people want me to open those packs. So I went ahead and opened those packs. But basically uh, from each of these cards, as I said, we made minimum amount of 4 million coins. So that's quite cool, obviously, but I'm not even talking about the other nine uh, that, that I've got in my squad as well. Basically, I'm gonna go ahead and claim all my coins. As you can see right there, I'm able to claim 280 million coins worth of uh, players or coins, I guess, that I sold for players, plus I even got 95 overall Salah, Modric, and Ruben Diaz in my squad as well. So that's basically a lot of coins right there. If I didn't uh, obviously do those exchanges, as I said, I would have had even like 120, 130 more million coins. So I would have had 400 million coins. That's basically how good these uh, investments are. Now the next uh, next player exchange that we're gonna get after this one is I'm pretty sure gonna be 93 to 94 overall exchange after the 95 overall exchange. So what you need to do is you need to go ahead and invest in 90 overall cards. Investing in 90 overall cards is a very, very good idea just because they are gonna go up in price and they are gonna go up in price just because we're gonna get 93 to 94 overall player pack. I made a lot of coins before with this uh, trick as well by uh, just uh, by just buying 90 overall cards i know they're a bit more expensive now they're they're like 3.2 million coins each you if you bought them yesterday um you you could have bought them for like 2.4 2.5 2.2 even some of them but i did not manage to buy them yesterday obviously just because i still had 93 overall cards right i still had to sell 93 overall cards and yesterday they were not really that expensive today i didn't manage to sell them for 14 million coins but if you buy these 90 overall cards you are still gonna be making quite a lot of coins you're, or you're still i think they're gonna go up to like 4.5 5 million coins minimum so you're gonna be making quite a few coins so make sure you go on and buy these 95 90 overall cards and make as much coins as possible with them as well as that we are gonna get a new roberto carlos exchange obviously very very soon and for that roberto carlos exchange you can definitely do some investments as well uh, basically what you can invest in obviously it's a little bit of a risk but what you can invest in is you can go ahead and invest in uh, brazilian players because 
because Roberto Carlos is Brazilian. You can invest in Real Madrid players because his most popular club is probably Real Madrid. So we might get an exchange where we where we need uh, a Real Madrid card and some defenders as well because Roberto Carlos is obviously a defender. So yeah, I'm not gonna be investing too much coins for Roberto Carlos exchange probably because a 90 overall uh, buying 90 overall cards is a lot more safer because we don't exactly know what overalls we need for Brazilian cards for Roberto Carlos and uh, what overalls we need for uh, Real Madrid cards and all that. So I'm probably gonna just stick with 90 overalls or also I might go ahead and invest in team of the year cards as well because it's it's the weekend way very soon, right? In about two days, we're, uh, it's gonna be the weekend and at the weekend we're getting 82 to 97 overall player pack exchange where we're packing 10 players and they are obviously tradable. So for that one, we will need team of the year cards. And right now team of the year cards, if you go ahead and look at it, they're about like 600, 700,000 coins. I'm, I'm pretty sure or the cheapest ones obviously let's go ahead and check they're about yeah 700,000 coins they're about 700,000 coins and I think there is a very very good chance they are gonna go up to like um, 1 million coins 1.3 1.4 some like that I think there is a very very good chance these cards are gonna go up quite a bit as well so there are a couple of investments that you can do to make a lot of coins in FC Mobile right now let me know down in the comment section if you're investing any of your coins or not but now what I want to do as well is I want to uh, upgrade my team and not really upgrade it I just want to put the players that I've got in my squad in my team right now I'm, I'm just gonna put Modric uh, Salah and Ruben Diaz in my squad just because I, I, I won't be selling them right now I'm gonna wait obviously so I'm gonna go ahead and put those cards in but also the one that I'm gonna have in my squad forever probably not forever but for a very, very long time is gonna be this Cannavaro card right there and my team is 95 overall now which is quite decent if I take out some of the lower overall cards is my team gonna go up well I guess oh okay uh, with that one it went down just because I need a ranked up player as well. So that's that's gonna be a bear shout. And um, Modric instead of Zidane, that might make it higher overall. I'm not sure, probably not though, probably not. And I need a striker, I didn't even get a striker. I definitely need a striker. I would much rather put uh, Salah either way, a striker than uh, uh, Lineker, I think, or no, no, Lineker upgraded the, is actually better. So, yeah, I'm gonna just stick with that for now. I'm just gonna stick with that for now. By the way, my favorite players, from my team are definitely uh, Guara and Hulit. I love these two cards a lot, Guara and Hulit. And Jersey New is crazy good as well, but Guara and Hulit are just way too good. Sometimes when Lineker gets tired, I just put Hulit as striker um, and uh, I'm just having on uh, someone like Paul Scholes, right? I'm just doing that sometimes because Hulit is that good. He can play as a, as a striker and he can score some goals for me very, very easily. So that's a very, very good idea as well. But I'm happy with this team right now. I'm happy with this team. I can go ahead and run cap Canaro a couple of times maybe and train him up. I'm going to do it um, later on. Not right now. I'm going to do it later on. I've also packed this Petit card actually. And I mean, he cannot go into my squad right now. But it's not a it's not a bad idea to have him there, right? It's not a bad idea to have him there. By the way, Ruben Diaz, Modric, and um, also who is the other one? Modric and Salah are gonna get sold. I might try out Salah, try twing instead of Jairzinho as well, and see how good he is. But probably Jairzinho is gonna be better. 